Hey, what's up guys? Anthony here with the Silver Screen Analysis and today I have a fun film to talk about called The Mystery of Chess Boxing, a classic kung fu movie from the late 1970s. Now anyone familiar with kung fu movies from the late 60s up to the early 80s will know they kind of fall into their own genre. The stories are usually pretty simple, the performances are not usually that good, but the action sequences are usually loads of fun and I thought the eccentric characters were always appealing as a kid, almost like they were their own cartoon characters. <laughs> I guess you thought that you'd escape! <laughs> During the 70s and into the early 80s, hundreds of foreign films would be sent to the States, they'd be overdubbed with cheesy voiceovers and often retitled and really shipped out to small theater chains. This movie was no different, it was retitled Ninja Checkmate, which really makes no sense at all because it's not about ninjas, nor are there any ninjas in it. The story in this one follows a young man that wants to avenge the death of his father at the hands of a ruthless man known as the Ghost Face Killer. After bouncing around to a couple different schools, he runs into this old teacher that agrees to teach him the art of chess boxing Kung Fu. While this is happening, the ghost face killer is crossing the countryside, killing the clan members who tried to have him killed using his mysterious five elements fighting technique, and of course, eventually this young man and the ghost face killer will cross paths. This film also has some lore and pop culture. It's the inspiration of the song Mystery of Chess Boxing by the Wu-Tang Clan on their 36 Chambers album, and rapper Dennis Coles uh, got his stage name Ghost Face Killer from the villain in this movie. Now for myself, I don't watch old Kung Fu movies for cutting edge fighting techniques, structure plots or developed characters, I enjoy them for the nostalgia they bring and the originality they have for the time period. I watch these movies to enjoy that vintage feeling of the filmmaking, to see the over-the-top characters and the wild martial arts choreography, and to honestly enjoy the comical voiceovers and the sound effects. I think all of these elements work together to just give this era of martial arts film a fun, light-hearted, but still intense action-filled adventure. And to me, this film delivers all of that as it keeps the story moving and it effectively fills the time in between all the routine fight sequences, the characters, they are not developed, the story doesn't have what you would call smooth cohesion, but there's enough substance here to entertain. I think this movie provides some solid laughs from the over-the-top performances, some of the wild martial arts, the old-school camera techniques, as well as some more natural moments that are worked into this story. It's not going to grab your attention with some tense intrigue, but I still think it's a great time to kind of sit back and really see how the genre was done and to see some of the inspiration from some more familiar moments in modern martial arts movies today. And after all, the years I still think it holds up. I think the film techniques used make it a visually appealing movie to watch. There's not a lot of edits. The camera simply sits back and lets the performers come in to work through their choreography in front of a lot of natural landscapes. And where there are edits to kind of mask the stunt work and some of the lack of options for the era and the budget, they kind of come across as comical. And even though your eyes tell you you just saw something that was definitely cheesy, you still kind of like it. There are some entertaining sequences that at times really show some great maneuvers from the performers. And I think in certain moments it really was ahead of its time. How some of the scenes are cut and the routine jarring zoom in shots all kind of just add a great vibe that just capture what the era of kung fu movies were all about. And if you love martial arts films in general and you haven't really seen a lot of films from this era, I recommend checking this film out or many other great titles to kind of see the genre from a very early age. And to me, I still think this film is a great time and I'm going to give the mystery of chess box 85% on the entertainment meter. It does a lot with a budget that would just be a day's lunch for the crew on many films today and Yi Min Lee may not be Jackie Chan but I think he brought some charisma to this movie. And those are my thoughts on the mystery of chess boxing guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what are some of your favorite old school kung fu movies. I'd love to hear some of your guys' thoughts. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more make sure to subscribe so you can join in on all the movie talk. As always I'm Anthony. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you at the movies.